Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you very much. You all know my name. If you don't know, my name is Olua Shevin. And, uh, it's a meetup. Supposed to be this glamorous, you know? But I'm glad we made it. Uh, we'll talk about how we got here. Um, we have an agenda. But just like life is, you plan. But plans don't usually work. Women in Defi, you know now. Plans don't usually work. You will plan to the latter. You will plan to the T. You know, end-to-end -end planning. But I can bet you that the plan will not work according to what you have planned. Yes, it can guide you, but you will change some things along the way. You agree? That's how life is. So, and because of the sincerity of purpose in us and in that's your plan. It would become wholesome eventually. It would turn out to be what you want it to be, what you truly want it to be. So I love what is happening. It's supposed to be a very tiny event. And then it looks very glamorous. It shows that Bitcoin is not broke. Bitcoin is not fiat paper money. Bitcoin is well, I've been to money events. And it's usually very boring. Everybody just keep calm. And you know, you have that money conversation very boring. But cryptocurrency has always been exciting. And that's why we have music. We have everything displayed like this. And I thank you all for coming. If it wasn't for you guys, there won't be anybody to educate. So as we go straight into the event, you know why we're here. We're here for Bitcoin Halvin. We're all young people. We're all still starting. We're getting started. And we're going to be the wealthiest people tomorrow. Look at this room now. It's not filled up, right? There's a guy called Andreas Antonopoulos. In 2011, this man was given a speech about Bitcoin in a room with a thousand seats. There were less than five people there. After weeks of adverts, Bitcoin was less than $3, $10 then. Today, Bitcoin is $64,000. And we are not even up to 100 people here. Count yourself lucky. So if you truly, truly believe Bitcoin halving has come, the fourth one in our existence, and you are alive, and that in the next two straight hours of this event, you're going to go home with some knowledge, and you believe that you would acquire Bitcoin or the ones that you have acquired, would do something substantially in your financial life. You know how you got here. So no posing for me. You probably don't have enough Bitcoin like I do. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. I'm not trying to be condescending. I don't have money. Yet. So I want to introduce somebody. So she's going to be our host today. I prepared her just this morning. And because of respect, uh, she's an old time, uh, beautiful young lady. But she said, you know what? I'll pull up for you. Because I want to learn about Bitcoin too. And um, why don't I just give my real knowledge to uh, or offer my services uh, while I learn about Bitcoin? So she's just going to take us through on the agenda. Uh, yeah, so give it up as a welcome, Vanessa. Hello. Thank you, DJ. Vanessa, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I think my phone. <laughs> and I need this, you know, right? How about you? you, you because I need this thing. Yeah, you need it. Me. Yeah, but uh, because... It's so good you know, to see you again, first of all. Yes, yeah, been many years. It's been forever. Yes, yes, yes. And I appreciate the fact that you pulled up. Thank you. Thank short you. short notice. Thank you. And does it make you feel coming for a Bitcoin show? Have you been for any Bitcoin show? Um, just um, a Forex-ish thingy. It was pretty boring, but I think this seems quite interesting, so... <laughs> I'm ready to learn today. I love that. I love that. Yes. Do, do you have anything uh, that you've heard of before about Bitcoin? I just heard there's lots of money in it. And I love money. That's all, period. I love money, so. That's uh, <laughs> the, You're like Binta Bulama. She loves money so love much. Money. <laughs> yes, I love that. Give me, give me that five. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So you just take us through the agenda. Agenda first? Uh, I, I don't know. Talk about event first. Yes, yes. Let's just talk about the event briefly. Yes, uh, let's... As interactive as possible. Yeah. I know. Real quick. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is just 
clap for yourselves for being here, first of all. I was just told about this this morning, but, you know, he's my friend. I've known him for, like, ever. I'm like, okay, why not? And, of course, it's a win-win because I'm going to learn how to make money. My name is Vanessa. Um, they know me as Lady Vava in my neighborhood and in my family. So, yes, I'm Lady Vava, and I'm so happy to be here. Please just clap for me, I beg. Encourage me. <laughs> All righty, why don't we see that there? He took his time to explain one or two about today's event. And yes, I got quite interested. And um, it's about Bitcoin halving. And when he started the explanation, I was a bit confused. Like, why would I want to invest my money? And then when it's time to like harvest, you're halving my money. Like, I love money so much. And then he took his time to explain some things that made a whole lot of sense. I may not have all the information, but... Um, I will just run through what I was given. First off, this event was brought to you by the Content Man Network and Pop Central TV, channel 189 on DSTV. Please put your hands together for that. Thank you. Okay, the Bitcoin Network undergoes a significant event called the Bitcoin Halving, and it happens every four years. Um, this is the fourth halving so far, and this is the first time ever it's the, a, an event to be held in its honor. So let's give it up for him, please. Please, please, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, according to what I heard, the housing, it's very important in the sense that um, it makes it, um, you know when gold, you know how gold is scarce? It becomes expensive. And I really like that. An average man, one average woman loves expensive things. And guess what? The demand becomes very high. So that is basically what the Bitcoin halving is all about. They want to um, turn down inflation, kind of like manage it, and um, make the end users make extra money on the long run. So it's very important. There's something I've noticed about Bitcoin. You have to have the patience. And I feel that having fast money, fast monies don't last. You know, but the long-term money, like investing in Bitcoin, for instance, and other investments makes it worth the while because when the money comes, honey, people would think you did rituals. Basically, though, this is where we're here to network. Trust me, when I came here, I saw these gorgeous people. And I'm like, okay, interesting. I'm going to learn. Thank you for what talk you mean. You talked to me, and I had a very interesting conversation with you. And um, so let's just leave a little. We shouldn't be all uppity, uptight. Let's network and learn. So I'm going to call in stage right now to carry on this conversation. The content man himself. My friend from way back. <laughs> now, so thank you very much. OK, so um, so I'd like to call out one person first. So this is it. This, this event is a togetherness event. Um, we have uh, one speaker from the UK. We have another one from the US. I'm going to connect them to my laptop and we'll bring them here. And I'm going to do the keynote talk. But before then, uh, so there's a community called okay. the Nigerian Women Bitcoiners Community. It's just started. Yeah, you should join that community. I'm interested. Yeah. Sign me up already. I'm here. Yeah, so I had this vision like three years ago oh, okay. uh, to educate women uh, about Bitcoin. Because I realized that there are more, we call them shit coiners. Well, you, coiners. A lot of people call them old coiners. Yeah. That's because we believe if it's not Bitcoin, then it's not crypto. It is not crypto. Yes, that's how we see, right? Because uh, we are Bitcoin maxes. Mm -hmm. But I'm a Bitcoin maxer with empathy. And uh, in, in respect to Bitcoin, I decided to educate women. Good. Because women are multipliers, you agree? We are, of course. Right? When you women learn about something. I mean, we go all out. We're extremists in that aspect. And you educate more people. Period. Right? Mm -hmm. And today is the Bitcoin how. The Bitcoin how, I mean, basically, is that occurrence mm -hmm. that caught or divide the block reward of Bitcoin miners. There are some people called miners. Those are the ones who like dip their hands in a raffle draw, right? And pick out a lucky number. So picture a raffle draw basket, right? Defining mining easily. We are all here, right? And 
There is a raffle draw bastard. And we are all miners. We do the proof of work. We have the hardware and we use our electricity. This is energy. Energy is money anywhere, any day. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the spirit of God was hovering around the water. But before God did something, before he did anything, he said just one thing. At the count of three, can we recite exactly what God said? One, two, three. What did he say? What did God say? Let it be light. And there was? Without light, there is no Bitcoin. The energy is light, is power. So God Almighty needed energy. That's why I say Bitcoin is God's money, like gold. But it's God's money in the internet era. It's God's money in the cyberspace. See that? Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God's money on the internet. Gold is God's money in the ground. You can never, ever, ever create Bitcoin without energy. So we are all here, we are miners, and we put in our energy, and we want to mine Bitcoins. What happens? There is a raffle draw, right? So many people's transaction, Vanessa's transaction, my transaction, Sarah's transaction, from different parts of the world. We don't know who owns those transactions, right? But they are all in a basket, and they are willing, they are willing, they are willing, they are willing. As a miner, you know the reward is some amount of Bitcoins. Before today, it was 6.25 BTC. But because today is halving, it has been cost, cut to half. And it will be like that for the next four years, about 210,000 bucks. I'll explain that. So for you to get rewarded for that, your energy, that's proof of work, for it to be certified and say, yes, you got it right. Give him a round of applause and take this reward. You have to tip your hand in that pool of transactions and do the mathematical work, which is the guesswork. Bring it out. Whoever brings out the lucky deep wins the number. It's Powerball. And the lucky numbers get rewarded. That lucky number is that transaction that has been mined. Block. So lots of transactions are there, right? And you pick out that one block because you want to add it to all other blocks that has been created. People have been taking their own reward. It's your turn. God help you. You pick the right one. So once you pick that, you get rewarded. But before you pick it, you need power. You need to have done some exercise, put in some work. Plug your appliance to light. Feed it with internet. Make sure the place is clean. Dust it well. Case it right. And then you wait for the transactions to be passing through. You're taking your transaction fees. You're taking your transaction fees. Somehow, some way, you find that lucky number and you get rewarded with 3.125 Bitcoin from today. Which means you get rewarded with like 60. How much is Bitcoin price now? What's his Bitcoin price right now? Right now, as you and I speak, the price of Bitcoin is 63,900, about 64,900. So for just doing that work, it gets 64,000 in three places. And one, two, five. The one, two, five, are satoshis. Yeah, because the smaller units of Bitcoin, the units of account of Bitcoin is in sats. Like you have, I've said it over and over again. Before you get to a Naira, you have to cross the Cobble mark. Yeah. So people must know that Bitcoin is money and it has levels to become Bitcoin. You can't count a million without counting one, two. You're not going to jump eight, to 50 or to 8,000, you got to go one by one. That's Bitcoin for you. You can't buy $20 Bitcoin without actually acquiring $5 worth. They cannot just write 20 zero for you. 
it must be 1, 2, 3, 4, to 19, to 20. That's how Bitcoin is. So those numbers have to be 100 million of them. And then it becomes one Bitcoin. One is 100 million. If it's 99 million, it's not Bitcoin. If it's 59 Kobo, it's not one Naira. So if you look at this block, this is how we came about halving for the year 2024. Block 840,000. It started from one block. And each block come in every 10 minutes. 900 Bitcoins are produced in a day. Yes, 10, 10 minutes. Do the maths, we get 900 in one day. But now, since some hours ago, on the 840,000 block, it became 450 Bitcoins. So Bitcoin is scarce, scarce, yeah. scarce assets on Earth. And we started from one block. $10 BTC. He moved from Satoshi Nakamoto to a man called Al Finney. He's late today. Blessed memory of Al Finney. Cypher Funk. Talented Bitcoiner. Talented coder. Software developer. Cryptographer. He got the first set of Bitcoin. 10. When a lot of people were doubting it. He worked on the Bitcoin code. Supported Satoshi Nakamoto. The Bitcoin inventor himself. You can see we've come a long way before we got to 840, from one to... And each block takes 10 minutes. Now we are on maybe 860-something block. 10, 10 minutes. This happened around 1 a.m. today. You can see the time. What's the time? It happened around... Good. Bitcoin don't lie. The transactions are pure and clean. Nine minutes past... 1 a.m. on the 4th of April, 2024. Time stamp. 20th of April, on the 20th of April, not on the 4th. On the 20th of the 4th month of the year, April 2024, we got to 840,000. So transparent, you can't see that in fiat. You cannot know the particular day, $10 billion entered into the Nigerian economy, or when they printed it, they won't even tell you the date and time. So you can see multiple blocks. And this was the block. It was mined by VIA PTC. VIA PTC. That's a Bitcoin mining pool. Look at the amount of money we are making. Are you in that pool? Ask yourself. What business in Nigeria is in this pool? Look at pools, Foundry USA. None of these people are inventors of Bitcoin. They just got into it, and they started mining. And in that block, it has transaction fees worth about 37 Bitcoin, about $2 million. Then the subsidy, that's the reward, of 3.125 plus the transaction fees. Everything became about 40 Bitcoins. If you add 3.37, that's 37, 620, to 3.125, it will give you 47.61. Subsidy, which is the reward, and the fees. The fees are the transaction fees that we pay. You know when you want to do Bitcoin transaction, you pay transaction fees. You pay it to the miners, right? That's why you get subsidy plus fees, miner. And this is the company that collected that bonus. Before this company collected that 3.125, all these companies were collecting 6 0.25. Various mining personalities, mining persons, but they use mining pools too. The pool help you to get lucky quicker. That's why I use the raffle draw example. So I'll leave it at that uh, for now. We've come too far. Before you get to another halving, it's going to be 840 plus 210,000. It is every 210,000 block that you get the halving. So that's the way Bitcoin actually 
controls its own inflation. Because every 10 minutes, new Bitcoins are printed into the market. Is that not inflation? That's inflation. Every 10 minutes. So imagine the Nigerian currency, the US dollar, prints money every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes. And we know the amount of money they print. Won't it be better? But we don't know the amount of money they print. They can print $2 trillion in maybe two months. But we know that this is just this amount of Bitcoin that is printed every 10, 10 minutes. Now it is 3.25. <laughs> in the world where we have about 8 billion people, all of us cannot have Bitcoin, though. All of us cannot have one Bitcoin. Bitcoin can go around 100 million Satoshis to one Bitcoin. Before one Bitcoin was less than three cents. It was less than 400 Naira. Today is almost 100 million Naira. What was my father doing? Not a condescending. Or my mom, my beautiful mom, my wonderful father. What was I doing? Why didn't I get the education? I could have used just ordinary 10,000 Naira to make my generation wealthy. And buy plenty of Bitcoins. But we did not yet. We we're putting money in the bank. But today, the Nigerian government has put it in our finance law, whether you like it or not. There's a 10% capital gain tax. It's called CGT. 10% capital gain tax that you must pay, whether you're a coin or an individual. The coin is the company. You must pay. You pay to the state government as an individual, FIRS, federal, if you're a company. As a matter of fact, they will deduct it from your money. You know why? Because they are going to be giving license. Shout out to Dr. Timi Agama. He's the new SEC Director General, Security Exchange Commission. That's the alpha and omega of regulatory concerns when it comes to digital assets, securities, commodities, at all, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin on top of the food chain. It's been on our show before, and it's a friend of the house. And there will be licenses. It is now 150 million naira, so it's no more a child's game. We are doing it here because we have been there even before the big boys came in. We know these things more than the bank. We are more intelligent than even the billionaires that will come in thereafter. But guess what? The government is saying, it's not a game for kids. It's not a game for the poor. If you don't have 150 million naira, you cannot do crypto business in Nigeria. And one billion naira, one billion naira capital proof that you can run the business. Proof of capital. Working capital, that's what they call it. One billion. So all that, and they buy Bitcoin, and they sell Bitcoin on WhatsApp. You will not get it again. You do it, you'll be breaking the law. So if you are still thinking Bitcoin is a scam, you're on your own. No? The government, the president has signed it. He will not sign what he does not know. What makes you think the president is not, in, is not a fantastically intelligent person? Because he has access to money, power, connection, information. It was when I met President Goodluck Jonathan, and, you know, I was able to be fortunate enough to talk to him about Bitcoin. I discovered how intelligent presidents can be. Even if the president does not know anything, the people around him are too intelligent. So they brief the president and say, Your Excellency, this is the next big thing. And we have done our research, and Nigerians are making a killing. We must take 10% of their money. So if you buy clothes with crypto, 10%. You make small gain, 10%. Anytime you dispose of it, 10%. In that year, whereby you make the gain. What are you waiting for? You still think it's a joke? We will repeat this thing over and over again. So people will not hear. But guess what? The next time it will be happening, you'll be seeing it on TV. And you'll be seeing the Tony Illuminus. You'll be seeing them, the Shagwa badges, the billionaires, and they'll be organizing these things. 
And if you're not careful, you will not be there any longer. You will not be the product. They will not invite you to a cool hotel. You are lucky you're here today. You will tell them, I was lucky. I was there before you, Your Excellency. You will hear governors come and say, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, as the governor of Sampara, I'm proud to, I'm proud. I'm proud to announce that uh, Sampara State has just invested in VTC about a uh, billion dollars worth of BTC. And everybody will shout, Ranka Dede, say Baba, you see it. Very soon, it won't be about posting Rolls Royces again. You go just see random young guy go post for Twitter, one BTC. All the girls will run under his comments. Wow! Because it's gonna be a show of wealth. It sounds funny now. They dare they look. Or you think a television channel will risk their license on national television on the biggest platform and talk about what is a facade? The new appointed DG by the president was on our show saying that you cannot become a business operator in this space if you are hungry because you will eat up the money. If you don't have 150 million naira, you cannot play in this sector in 2024. What do you think the license fee will be in 2030? Women in DeFi. Like a billion, two billion. So think about it. A million naira in 2010, how much was it? Maybe you wanted to rent a house or you, wanted to, you want to buy a house for your children. Or you want to secure your future. You see, I'm going to keep this. Let's use a big number. 100 million naira in 2010. Your father is very wealthy. No. 500 million naira in 2010. Your grandfather is wealthy. Your father is wealthy. Your uncles, your aunties, you came from a very rich home. So there's a 500 million naira fix for you. That's when you're in a certain age. In 2024, they will give you that 500 million naira, right? In 2010, 14 years down the line, when you are driving past, there's this woman that fries a car before your father's mansion. You just look at her, poor woman, littering this area. You drive and pass me that I have 500 million naira in my future. Nonsense. That woman is poor. She gets happy when you luckily just buy a car of like 600 naira. She's so joyful. She stacks it up. And luckily for her, she invested maybe just like 5,000 naira in buying 10 or 5 BTC at the rate of 1,000 naira each. Okay, let's say 8,800 naira each with transaction fees. Now it's 2014, 14 years down the line. They have given you that your money, 500 million naira. You are a wealthy guy, rich man from a rich family. And... I'm the poor guy. My mother used to sell beans. They were going. Oh, she sell, she's a scavenger. You know scavengers. You guys are wealthy people, so you don't understand. If you live in a suburb before, we're there for lucky now, so I don't go know. With just 5,000 naira, my poor mother, you know poor people take risk a lot. And then go do MMM. And then go do this one. And then go do a susu. And then go, they just want to, a poor woman can do anything to send a child to that school just to match up in the future. If I gave you 5K for 2012, I'm a big boy. I give you 5,000 naira now. You will say, sing. Think. You know, I get better. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you go think, say, you're the big boy. Just give girl. Man, I just say you should just take care of yourself. Spoil yourself today, Saturday. Take five kids. First of all, the guy go read the message. Disappear. No go respond for like three hours. You go begin to say, this guy is not appreciative. This guy is not appreciative. Later, you now ask, have you seen the money? After you have sent the receipt, you will write, oh, sing. No, thank you. I'm in trouble. Run, no. I DJ.
pass and I left him at the start. Big booty pass, I'm a external down. Last time I check, I be fetter and new plan. Pop to the sound, this electric gun. Oh, yeah. I come for sound, international new plan. My just sound is intentional new plan. So, I love what Sarah Idahosa is doing. She was on my show, Digital Assets Show, and we spoke intelligently about cryptocurrency, blockchain. I didn't let her talk about any other product. Because I said, look, if it's not Bitcoin, if it's not Panadol, you don't be like, Panadol. I told her, no, 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 no. You got to learn Bitcoin. You're too much of a highly placed person in this society. You are a highly reputable person in Nigeria. What you're doing and women are following you, you must learn about Bitcoin. You don't know Bitcoin, you don't know blockchain. You know Bitcoin, you ignore Bitcoin, you don't know blockchain. Because if we start to talk about the history of the blockchain, the history of digital cash from David Chow to fast forward to Raphael Maku, Maku Tree for developers. Adam Back, O Alfini, Ash Cash to Bitcoin before Litecoin, Ethereum, and CoCop. Those ones, they get founders. We put money together. Advertising team, marketing team, sales rep, customer service. Bitcoin has none. You cannot print new Bitcoin. They don't burn Bitcoin. But yet they burn some crypto. Some of them are innovative. So any money you want to use to gamble, put it in crypto. Any money you want to save, put it in Bitcoin. This is not my presentation. I have some slide. I didn't put it together. My spirit said, let me change as a man of God doing the world, Lord's work. You know, men of God, they come and say, this is not the vast. This is not the Usamon. As the spirit leads, God bless you. I'll give you $2 of Bitcoin. You know, if you hold on for four years, if you turn to $30, give me five. That's like, I know they give my Bitcoin any eyes. Stingy with Bitcoin. You know. If I give you Bitcoin, maybe thank God. So, I love what she's doing. I said, look, I need to bring you into the Bitcoin space because You've educated hundreds of women. You have to come and educate them more in BTC. And I want you to join me in educating women. Because she said, I'll do it. We almost argued in the studio. She came with one young lady, brilliant lady. She's not here. I will not, I will not mention her name. And the first question the lady asked me that I've built financial products for bank. I've built my company, the Content Man Network, built United Bank of Africa Diaspora Banking application. So when you use UBA to send money cross-border, when you use UBA to send money from Nigeria to Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, cross-border, I'm not talking about intra, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about in, 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 inter. You will be shocked. You are using my code base. There was no bought me cash then. 2016, I went to New York Code, New York code and Design Academy to go and learn code Kickstarter classes in the code Wintac. And 2017, we pitched to beat, we pitched to UBA. We told them, stop using Western Union, stop using MoneyGram. The group GMD looked at me and like, what's this boy with braids saying, with jacket, leather jacket? And I just came back. I'm like, yo, sorry, no, I went to UBA. I couldn't send money. So I'm thinking like, uh, I could build this for you. He looked at me and said, who be this one? Western Union money transfer. We have it in UBA, New York. UBA, New York, London, Paris. And like I said, no, 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 big homie, that's not how it works. I'm a Nigerian. I send money back home for Nigerians. A lot of undocumented Nigerians over there. So I stack too much money. I go to UBA, Rockefeller building. They can't send money for me because it's a Nostros and Vostros account that they run. It's not commercial banking. Except I go to Western Union. And Western Union can ban me anytime. Nigerians cannot even go to Western Union. I can only send Naira to Naira, even if we travel abroad. They looked at me and said, oh. I said, you're losing money. I can show you how to move money. Boom, boom, bam. It gave me the opportunity. Shout out to. Can I do Zoka wherever he is? And that's how we took the deal. And we made money. And we built UBA. The Aspera Banking application. It has been embedded into the app now. So you can use UBA to send money everywhere. They're using my code base. Of course, they don't step them up, I believe. Because I would talk to them everywhere in my resume. Yeah, I'm proud of it. If I was wise enough then, and I had a mentor like me that would hold me and say, no, I will not build for the bank. I will build for myself. Because Shola of Paystack, Goega of Flutterwave, they were too smart 
They left the bank to go and be their own. Me, I was coming from America and went into the bank. I didn't know I was going into the lion's den. So the bank was very happy. They gave me money. <sighs> Never seen that kind of money before. It wasn't 50000 It wasn't $100,000. I'm looking at the money. I'm like, whoa, first payment, about almost $100 million. Man, I'm going to Dubai. Then I was dating that time. The two of us, as we collect the money like this, we first, yeah. we learned also we go break up. I did not know those men, they were looking at, look, I'm sure they will be looking at me like this. Right? They were leaving the bank. Because the owner, the owner of Flutterway was working in the bank, assets bank. He had seen the floors of the bank. He stepped out of the bank to build Flutterway. I went into the bank. Now I'm built for the bank. Foolishly, I did not take 1%. Yes, I will not be here with you if I took 1%. You will not know me, women in there, you will be reading about me. Not to be condescending. What the year we know me? Peter, you won't know. Know me because I'm trying to. You will not know me. Oh, yeah. How I many of you can call the owner of Flutter Wave? Because Flutter Wave was birthed one year, the year I was pitching to. What year did Flutter Wave? Check it. 2017. Check Flutter Wave. What year did they launch Flutter Wave? Do you know how painful it is for me in my life? Mr. 70 years old man. That's why I said, no, this one, I'm not going to do anything for Piat again. I will stay here. So by 2030, 2035, I would be that Tony Elumelu sponsoring 10,000 Africans, giving them 20, $20,000 to excel in their life with Bitcoin money. And you will all be there in Jesus name. Inshallah. Take your decision. That's why I'm happy Women in Death Valley founder, CEO, saw the vision. I said, you know what? I'm rocking with you. I don't care what my sponsors say. I don't care what people say about me. I love this idea. I love my country, Nigeria. Now that they're going to be given license, now that it's going to be real, you will drive past, you will see Bitcoin companies. <clears throat> I got to step my game up. Most likely after this event, you will lose some sponsors. But I can tell you, it will not be up to 24 months. All your sponsors will regret. You don't want to believe me because you are eating too much thousands of dollars. You are capable. I know. I respect you so much. But I'm telling you today, none of those coins will be alive by 2030. I swear to Almighty God. Go and check the history of the blockchain. The ones that were there in 2015, where are they? Where are they today? They all fall off after five, six, seven years. So before you shit coin, read coin first. Bitcoin first, not crypto. Stay away from fiat. Keeping that money in the bank is not doing anything for you. Any money where you want to take prosper for future, put it in BTC. Leave it there. Take profit when it has gone so much up. Don't be saying you're going to look at me every now and then. You go get an attack and die young. Ah, Bitcoin don't go down. Oh, I'm regretting though. That guy just lied to us. If you want to sell it, sell it to us. We'll buy it. So please give it up for Sarah Idaosa. Founder, women in their fight. Hi, everyone. I trust we're all having a good time here. Please, um, before I say anything, please give yourselves a round of applause. Let's, let's be cheerful, let's be cheerful. Um, our wonderful host has done justice to given us a better insight on what Bitcoin is, basically. And I'm not here to talk about Bitcoin. Trust me, I'm not here to talk about that. Instead, I am here to speak to the ladies that are here. And yeah, I'm happy. Please give yourselves a hand around. The ladies, the ladies that are here, please. Yeah, so like he said, my name is... Okay, for the guys, Sunovex, clap on yourself too, my boss. My boss, not the power for me. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Sarah Dausa, like he introduced. I'm the founder of Women in Define organization. 
Women in DeFi is a nonprofit that educates women about blockchain technology and as well as skills that are needed to build a career in the blockchain space. Now, while our host is a Bitcoin maxi, that's what we call them, people that believe in Bitcoin, just Bitcoin. For me, I believe in anything blockchain, anything Web3. That's go that goes to say that I don't trade with just Bitcoin, but all forms of cryptocurrencies. And that's why I said that yes to call, that several currencies that I deal with will not be in existence, but the argument, we'll leave it for later. It's not today we'll do the argument. But yeah, the point of this whole thing is, what he's trying to tell us is, which the world is moving. The world has evolved. We have gone from, like, if you go through the history of money, we know that there was a time where we're doing carry system, when it was trade by butter, when it was like, before we were using coins, and now we're using paper money. And now we're in the air where it's digital money. Money that you can't see, money that you can't feel, but come on, you can use it, you can spend it. Like, oh, I don't, I don't want to talk on that area, but I came here to specifically talk about community. Community. As a new being, for someone who is just coming into this space here, the, the space is usually difficult, I have to be honest with you. He will try his best here to tell you this is what Bitcoin is. And you as a newbie would learn, you will write things down. Trust me, if you go back home from here, you will probably take, let's say, one hour of your time or 30 minutes of your time to go and read more about Bitcoin. Then after a while, you will sleep. You will even forget that you came to an event like this. If you don't have people around you who are also doing the same thing. If you don't have people around you who are telling you, Afa, see price of Bitcoin, oh. Alpha, what's going on? Have you bought any Bitcoin? Like, if you don't have people like that around you, it's going to be difficult. So, um, I got into the space in 2020. I've been hearing about Bitcoin years before that, but it was not until like 2020 during the pandemic before I took out time to learn about it. See, I'm just here to talk about my personal experience and to encourage you ladies, to those of you who are already members of Nigeria Bitcoin, I'm um, sorry, Nigeria Women Bitcoiners, I am just here to encourage you. So when I started out in the space at that time, I needed people to teach me about blockchain, about Web3, about Bitcoin. They'll tell me, uh, you don't have a laptop, you can't use, and I'm not from a rich family. Don't let this Idaosa thing make you think he's Benson Idaosa. It's not Benson Idaosa's family. So like at that time, they'll tell me, oh, if you don't have this, you can't learn about this. And it was difficult. So it made me shy away. And see, I had a very wonderful friend. He's actually the one who brought me into the space. The guy that has been sitting here. He was the one at that time who would come to my house. He would sit down and say, this is what blockchain is. This is what Bitcoin is. He would be teaching me how to convert. Like, oh, this is current rates. If you want to convert it to Naira, this is what you need to do. He was the one that introduced me to um, exchanges at that time. Where you say, if you want to buy Bitcoin, if you want to buy any form of crypto, this is where you need to sell. From him, I started like, connecting with other people online virtually. At that time, there were people like Bitcoin Chief. Like, if you want to learn about it, I'm sure it's familiar with them. So, like, he probably fights with in this space. And Bitcoin Chief at that time, if you want to learn from him, they'll tell you to pay, I think, about 50,000 to 100,000 Naira. Broke me that doesn't have up to 5,000 Naira in my account so that I want to learn. It was a problem. But along the line, like, while I was able to gain this knowledge from other people, I saw the need to impact the same knowledge in the lives of others. Because I know the struggles, I know the challenges I faced at that time trying to get into the space. And if I didn't have the right people to direct me to say, like he said, the mistake he made when he was dealing with UBA, if he had the right mentor to tell him, oh, you're not supposed to give your service just like that to sell it off. Instead, strike a deal with them where you can get a certain percentage from whatever transaction that or cause using your code. You would have been a billionaire right now. And that's the honest truth. That is what the owner of Flutterwave is doing. That is why you see literally almost all banks right now have integrated Flutterwave for their um, payment services. If it's not Flutterwave, it's Paystack. Some even use both of them. And that is how they are making their money, honestly. So if you're coming into the space, you need to be in a community. And that is why when he told me, when I came for the digital asset show and he told me about his idea of having um, the Nigerian women Bitcoiners. I was excited because when I say women in DeFi, some people were um, they're dragging me at that time that why is it that it's just women and whatnot. So I told them, 
you're not nothing is stopping you from from doing something for men actually because i saw it as a problem i saw that i love my gender i love when i see powerful women speak i love when i see women that still say they don't depend on someone to get something they don't have to stay in a relationship here they'll be punching their face simply because of the money that the guy will give to them or the fear that the guy will take away their phone and i said i want to do this for other women like me i want other ladies to like be good and that is how Women in Defy started. And now he's about to do the same thing in the lives of each and every one of you. Today, my community has over 3,000 women. And I can tell you for a fact that 70% of the women in my community are financially capable. Like, there is nothing they'll say they want that they can't afford. So you will see them most times that they'll be looking. Not a show for this. It's not until it comes, that's when you know that these people are not ordinary ladies. There are ladies who are building systems right now using the blockchain technology. Like, if you, it's not everyone that wants to be traders. That is a fact. I will tell you all, you will learn about Bitcoin. That's the truth from the community. You will get to a point where you start saying, um, I can't anymore because I bought into Bitcoin probably at this high price. And right now it's low. I'm losing money. I need money for school. I need a good sustainable um, um, source of income and whatnot. And you start thinking of how to pull out your money from your investments, which is actually a mistake. It will be a mistake, a very huge mistake, because the point is going to come, you will do that withdrawal, and maybe after you do the withdrawal, something big might happen in the Bitcoin ecosystem, and the price of Bitcoin will still skyrocket again, and you start regretting why you sold your Bitcoin. It has happened to me. It is the honest truth. So that is why, you see, I don't, I don't tell ladies to bottle themselves up with the idea that they can just be traders. There's nothing wrong with you working with these uh, miners he talked about, like via BTC now. Of course, it's a firm. They need people to do other stuff aside, like the miners, the actual miners. They need people to take accounts for them. They need people to take records. They need people to manage maybe other people in the organization. So even if you have a normal skill, what I'm trying to tell you is, even if you're coming into this ecosystem, do not throw your technical skills or other forms of even non-technical skills away simply because you're learning Bitcoin, because you're going to use those skills in this space. Don't think it's because you're just coming to learn how to do Bitcoin, you want to trade, then you just forget about yourself. Personally, I trade. I work with a lot of blockchain brands. Like when it comes to marketing, like when they need communities, that's like, this is basically a community right now. Nigeria Women Bitcoin is a community. Um, Women in DeFi is a community. There is Web3 Ladies, that's also a community. They need people that are already in the Nigerian crypto space or in the Nigerian blockchain space or Bitcoin space to know about their product offering. I will be their go-to because I have access to all these numerous communities. That is another way to make money in this space. Aside the fact that I'm actively trading Bitcoin, Ethereum and every other form of currencies. So being in a community like this would open your eyes to a lot of things. So I am urging each and every one of you who are already members of Nigerian Women Bitcoiners Take the community serious. Just search for women in different Google or search for Sarah Dausa. My profile will definitely pop up and you can access my community from there. Thank you. Put your hands together again for her. Okay, um, I'm elated. I mean, see women, women uh, winning and I'm so here for it. Uh, we have another personality. I can see her already. She's blushing. Um, she'll be coming here to tell us more um, let me just give, um, okay, her name, Binta Bulama, small but mighty. She's gorgeous, by the way. She's a life coach, and um, I think I'll just hand the mic over to her so she can tell you more about herself. Nice to meet you, darling. All right, I'm a life coach, an accountability partner, and a future Bitcoin educator. Watch me, watch me. You guys will see me. Like, some of you will never have access to me. That's an issue because I'm going to fly, you know. So, um, I'm also here representing the Nigeria women um, Bitcoiners. I can see so many amazing women from the, the group, the community. It's nice to have you guys here. You guys look amazing, okay? So, enough of, not enough, Sha, but like... You know, our host, Mr. Olua Shegun and Tara Idahosa, they've talked about this whole crypto, Bitcoin thing. Because I'm also a learner, you understand? 
he reached out to me on LinkedIn because he had seen an interview. I was saying some plenty plenty in Sha. So he reached out to me and then he talked about this whole it's going thing because on my own part, you know, I'm working, doing this and that, and I was always saving my money. And it just wasn't making sense to me, okay? So I was always asking myself, because I'm a baby girl now. I like nice things. I like that kind of lifestyle, you know? So I have to make money to be able to do all these things. So I would always ask myself, ah, how can I make this money? Because all these thousands or hundreds of thousands of naira is not, can't buy me the G-Wagon, you know, and uh in a mansion that I want to live in, it was not making sense to me. So I'd always ask myself questions. Ah, how can I make this money, this and that? And by the grace of God, okay, this opportunity came my way. And you see, because I'm a very huge fan of God, you know, the reason why I'm standing here today, or I have the kind of mindset that I have, or I'm able to coach at such a young age, is solemnly 100, 1 billion percent because of God, you know. So I give him all the glory and honor, you get me? So what I want to do for you guys here is to help you guys to build a foundation on wealth. You get it? Because sitting down here is not enough, to be honest, because you guys will go home. So what next? You get For us to be successful in this space, right, we need the education. You cannot come and make it here with, with your pretty face. It's not possible. Me, I'm a fine girl. I know that this beauty is not going to take me anywhere in this space if I don't know something. Do you understand? And the new motto I've adopted this year, but let me say about how many weeks back, right, is that, you see, me and my family will serve God and name Bitcoin. Like, that's my, that's my mindset right now. And see, no matter how long this takes, that's not my business. I really don't care. I don't put a time to it. But no matter how long, I'm, I'm in for the long ride. Do you understand? And the reason why, I have that mindset, I'm able to wait long term or whatever, it's because of the mindset that I have, the foundation of wealth that I built in this my head. Do you understand? So, mm, unfortunately for some of us, it gets, we might fall out because this is not a get rich quick scheme. Is that how they say it? Right? It's not a scam. It's not, and then you make money. It doesn't happen that way, right? This education and learning is a lot of money given to you for free. So do not what, waste it. We usually have Twitter spaces. That's where we have our uh, sessions. You see, I was sitting down there, you know, I'm new. I'm still learning Bitcoin like everybody. Don't think I'm a pro in this space. I'm learning like you guys. But when someone asked me a question, maybe I was downloading information like, no, I knew something. It was surprising to me. You see, that's how this mind works. And because I've conditioned it in such a way that, you know, that's why all this is, I didn't know that I knew, but I was able to explain what Mr. Olusheng has by far taught us. Do you understand? So please take this seriously. Do not waste it. And I hope to see all of you over there with me and my twin sister. Yeah, thank you very much. Au revoir, bye-bye. I love the showing up part, the consistency part. It relates directly with Bitcoin. Show up and be consistent and play the long term game. You're the best. Give her a round of applause. Thank you, Vanessa. Before you buy Bitcoin, once you get the education, you want to understand how to use Bitcoin wallets such that your money will not be stolen, trusted platform, such that your, your money is safe, such that you can take your Bitcoin away from that platform and take it elsewhere. We say something in Bitcoin community, not your keys, not your coins. If you don't own the private key of that wallet, the Bitcoin is not your own. It's the person that owns the company, the application that owns the Bitcoin. It's like saying, if you don't own back end, of your GT Bank account. You don't own the money there because it's GT Bank that own the money. They can remove it anytime. That's why they can deduct money from you. So you need to learn how Bitcoin wallet works. That's your first education. Then when you literally buy Bitcoin, dial, and the money is ready, don't worry. You will see Bitcoin to buy. 
There are always rich people that want to sell their property. People always have problems. No matter how Bitcoin is valuable and you're not supposed to sell, there will always be a seller. So there are other exchanges that they are not our sponsor. You can buy from 234. Yes, I say it to the camera. You can buy Bitcoin from 234 exchange. Yes. 234exchange.com. You can buy Bitcoin from them. Usually OTC, over the counter. The founder is Sean Dania, the big boy in the space, Nigerian, but you know, it suffers between Lagos and the diaspora. They sell Bitcoin, they buy Bitcoin anytime, any day. But they don't cost study Bitcoin. They will sell to you and you're gonna give it elsewhere. You can buy from Bot Cash too. We'll tell you when it's ready. You know what Cash when it was working perfectly well. So yes, I hope I answered your question. So we give God the glory. Just wave your hands to God Almighty, even if you're Muslim. Thank you, God Almighty. I want to say a big thank you to CJ, my producer. I appreciate you so much. Please give a round of applause for him. I want to say a big thank you to Nancy, the sponsor. Um, she put everything together. She got the money out from the people. Got everything out from me. Uh, and to Faith, the event organizer. Nancy is, the, is in charge of the sponsorship. And to every crew, the camera crew, my guy here, this man, this man, no, they do shit coin again. Put the camera on his face, he's a shit coiner. Buy Bitcoin and stop running away. Apu guy, thank you so much. I thank everybody, Dio, all of you, Beta Bolama, everybody that came, the ones that did not. Black, I thank you so much. Kenny, I thank you. Vanessa, at the shortest notice, my friend for many years. God bless you. I thank you, God Almighty. If it wasn't for you, there would be no me. Thank you, Jesus. I thank my sponsor, Sheon Dania. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Bye Bye Fire. Bye. Which guy laugh at that? 234 Exchange. Sean Dania, we couldn't talk to you, but I thank you so much for your support. You sponsored us. Big shout out to you. You will get the best of the exposure. Thank you, Slick City. Thank you, Malik. Thank you, Pop Central. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're watching this on TV, I love you. I respect you. For a Bitcoin all around the world, ask yourself, what can I do for Bitcoin? That's what can Bitcoin do for me. Very, very important. The Nigerian government will take 10% capital gain from you when you dispose your Bitcoin. So be aware that Bitcoin is already legitimate and legal in Nigeria. Whether Nigerian government likes it or not, Bitcoin doesn't care about Naira, neither does it care about dollar. You have to think about the inflation that is hurting your money. So decide what you want to do. Money that debases or the hardest currency, hardest money that cannot be debased, cannot be seized, that is exponential in growth forever. There are only 21 million Bitcoins. It has been a successful Bitcoin halving, the fourth one. And uh, what more can I say? If it's not for God, there will be no me. That's one person I want to say a huge thank you to. Uh, a friend of mine and a partner in the United States of America. His name is Jeremy Garcia. Jeremy, if you're watching this, you're my friend. You know, I love you so much. Very sorry. Um, yeah. And I'm waiting for you to come to Nigeria and so we can do great things. So, everybody, see you on DAS, Digital Assets Show. I am a workaholic. I got to go on TV to still go and talk more about Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin, no. And to Dr. Timi Agama, ha, congratulations. Everybody give a round of applause for the new SEC Director General. Yeah, there is a new SEC Director General in town, Dr. Timi Agama. Congratulations to you, sir. You are the one who is going to be signing all the licenses. You are the one who is going to cryptonize Nigeria. And I know you know what Bitcoin is. Thank you so much for what you have done for the country and what you would do. And we hope to see you here live on Pulse Central on Das again. This time around, physically inside the studio. Udabo. Udabo means goodbye. I love you all.